Hello everybody, how we all doing? Did you all miss me? I missed both of you. We're here to play some Gone Fishing today. Uh, I really like this game. I actually couldn't play it, but I was so mesmerized. I was a really young kid back then, and uh, I just really liked the game. But um, I was never really good at it, but uh, just give it another shot now that, I, now that I'm considerably more mature. And uh, we're going to... What we're going to do is we're going to continue off an old game of mine that I've just been playing, but we're going to go straight into a uh, select, straight into a tournament. So as you can see, I've fished out of the water 20 pound fish, and I didn't even know they go to 22 pounds, by the way. But anyway, all right, moving on. All right, so to get into now, I don't know a lot of this game um, because there's so many little things that you're supposed to figure out. Uh, but anyway, I don't know much about this game, but I think you've got to be in on Thursday if you want to do the tournament. Uh, I'm not sure any other day works, but um, again, let's proceed. Let's go straight into tournament. So it could be any one of these lakes. Uh, no, um, it's got the word tournament on the bottom. And tournament. Tourney. Let's go... Fishing, so it's going to cost me five hundred dollars to enter this tournament. Let's take a look at what it is. Um, it's got five pounds and two pound fish, which are really small, and there's poor quality of them. So we're really, um, let's see what happens. Anyway, all right. So we're going fishing. So next we visit the tackle box. Now, if you don't know this game, don't worry. I'm on your side. I've got fifteen bucks left. I'm just gonna, just gonna buy some stuff here. Just blow all my money. Um, and I'll buy that one too. And I go hit the lake. Uh, proceed. So the the point of this game is uh, you just got to go catch bass. Now I have never caught bass in my life. I've I've done very little fishing in my life, uh, but this is actually surprisingly somewhat entertaining. Um, I don't know. You'll see. You'll, I mean, I'm sure if you're watching this, it's because you played this game in your youth. Um, but uh, you'll see. It's it's surprisingly a lot of fun. Now, let's put aside the graphics. Because they're not going to get any better. Right? I, I can assure you that. Alright, so here we are a boat. We've got the map. That's our white dot is our location. i got a really cool spot that I go on this, on this lake. So we're going to go... The controls are not the best, but... You know, whatever, so we'll just deal with that. Um, so, as, as you can see, the, the screen scrolls as your boat, as you push your boat to the edge. <coughs> so, it's a little hidey spot that everybody knows about if they play this game because it's a really good spot. Now, what you want to do is you can see that darker blue along the edge there, that means deeper water. Green means land. I'm sure you all figured that out. Um, but what you want to find is. Turn the wrong way. You want to find some foliage. What do you call it? Just some uh, some shrubs, some lilies, some wood, anything that's sticking out of the ground. First, let me make sure I'm going the right way. And I'm not. I missed uh, missed the ledge. Let's do a little bit of a U-turn. So. Pointing in the right direction. Nope, oh, that's the wrong direction. That's the right direction. Don't want to overshoot. Let's see where I am right now. Is this, is this... Okay, so... I think I'm on the wrong side. See where it shows me? I think I'm on the other side. Man, this map... This GPS back then was really bad, you gotta understand. They were doing their best. GPS was just getting into the scene. In fact, my thesis, when I did my thesis for uni, I, uh, I, uh, I incorporated GPS and it was just getting into the scene. So I was using the latest uh, and greatest technology. It was, uh, it was really cool. So I, I fired, um, uh, my, my thesis was to track a solid rocket. So they fired a solid rocket. Um, in, the, in this desert, and uh, and m my job was to actually recover it 
because it takes months to recover it. <laughs> here we go, here we go. So now once you get close to some foliage, what you want to do, because fish are going to be there, is straight away turn your front engine on, which doesn't scare the fish away as much. Quick, turn, turn, that's it. No, straight. A little bit more, a little bit more. Just stay steady. Here we go. There we go. All right, now we can see all of it. So the first thing you do is you drop anchor and then you put some bait. Now I know what type of fish are here, right? As you can see, it's poor quality, but there's very small fish. So we're gonna use some bait that's made for very small fish, um, as far as I know that is. And I think they like it fast. So what we do, what I like to do, okay, so there's so much art to this, to getting a fish out of the water. Um, but because they're small, they fight a lot less. So once it hits the bottom, there you go. Here we go, easy now. So you see how, see how quick it's set easy now? That's because it's a very small fish and it's, that's, it doesn't fight very much. The bigger the fish, the more they're gonna fight. And if you're gonna get a 20 pounder out, all right, three pounder. So for small, it's between one and four pounds, right? So that was three pounds on the higher end of the small uh, fish. Um, and we're continuing. Now, when you throw your line in, let's keep doing the same thing till we get a chance to explain it, is the left mouse button reels it in. The right mouse button yanks the rod back. You don't see it, but that's what's happening. So you're, you're horsing the fish just to tire it out. Um, unless we get something a little bit bigger than uh, small, I'm not really gonna need to horse the fish much. So as soon as the fish bite, and we've got to get some more biting, uh, what you want to do is immediately, actually, okay, so when the fish bites, immediately hit it with the right mouse button. So that horses it need the fish doesn't get away. If you don't do that, if you don't pull the rod back, the fish will escape. Um, secondly, uh, so if I throw it here, I find that not as many fish live here. Oh, so, okay, so this is my personal style. I wait till the bait hits the bottom of the ocean and then I reel it back. So I just, doesn't look like fish are gonna bite. I wait till, the, till it hits the bottom again. It's not, it's not gonna happen. Stupid fish, eat it. It's delicious. What, what bait am I using? Oh, too late, fast. Another thing is you can have your rod down this way or up. I don't know why you'd ever want your rod down. If a fish bite while your rod is down, you lose. You will lose the fish. Come on, fishies. It's delicious. What happened to them? Uh, I'm gonna have to try a different bait. Excellent. So right now, it's it's kind of small. This is a three or a four. Did you hear that? Okay, I had to yank it. As soon as you hear that, you want to immediately yank it back, which is the right mouse button. That that when the real, when the fish starts swimming away. All right, cool, cool, cool. Got another three fish. If you catch a one fish, that's actually kind of humiliating. It's like a waste of your time. Happy Easter to everybody, by the way. This is Easter time for the uh, Catholics, but uh, but and 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 all the heathens. Uh, our Easter, my Easter, is the following week. So e this is going to be a this is going to be a one or a two. When they jump out of water, okay. So I'm reeling it in now. So that means I'm holding down the left mouse button. Um, it's a two. Okay, that was good. Uh, so once they jump out of water, immediately let go of the mouse button. Because if you're really reeling it in, oh, I missed it. Oh, I wasn't paying attention. You don't have much of a window. As soon as it bites, you gotta wait a split second and then reel it, yank it back. All right now, easy now. Yep, this is an easy one. So once it jumps out of the water like that, if you're holding down the, if you're reeling it in while it's out of the water, you'll lose it. So as soon as it jumps out, just let go of the mouse button. Yeah, 
or sixty. So these fish being one, twos and threes and fours are very easy. They're very small. So you're not gonna get too much um too much action. Uh, so that so then if it's four to eight or five to eight rather, that's when you know you need a little bit of uh, knowledge on how to reel it in. There we go. Easy now. Pff, this is going to be a two. Oh, it was a one. Whatevs. That's humiliating. I'm going to change my bait. I'm going to see what happens if I throw this in. Fast. I missed him. All right. The, let's try it again. Let's hopefully catch the same fish. Got him. Is he now? No, it will not be a big fish. This is, this is ridiculous. Could be a three. Oh my god, that is ridiculous. All right, I'm gonna change bait again. Before I pull it out, and give it another shot. So the way the, the mechanics work is you arrive at around, I don't know, 8 a.m. around there, and uh, you leave when it hits, I believe, 9, 8, 9 p.m. And every time you throw your line in, that's 10 minutes. So it's 11.20. Uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try for bigger fish and see if I can catch anything with slow. Get out of town. It was probably a big fish too. Let's try it again. Come on. Easy now. Nope. Still a small fish. But I gotta say something. It said that it's poor quality. Like uh, the amount of fish is actually poor. This is really, they're small. It's pathetic. But the amount of fish in the water is pretty good. For poor quality, you would not be taking any fish out. Easy now. It's gonna be a one or a two. More humiliating. I wish I could show you guys a bit more challenging stuff. All right, three. Better, better than expected. But, um, There aren't any better fish in the water. Yes, so I have a confession to make though. How did I catch the 20 pounder? Because you're not going to get that easily, right? I am using, uh, I'm running this on my PC, obviously. It's not, I missed it. So I'm using Winamp, uh, WinUAE rather, sorry, not Winamp and uh, the emulator, and every time I'm catching really big fish, I do a save, um, and I go straight back to that location, right, with the emulator, um, because I can assure you now, if you can pull out of the water a 20 pound fish in this game without using um, those instant saves through the emulator, I will give you, I missed it, 100 bucks. There is no way anyone has pulled out of the water that big fish without with, without using emulation like this. I can't believe I missed it. So it, this is getting absurd. What's going on here, fishies? Slow down. So with, with slow versus fast, um, I'm, I'm now concentrating a lot more. It, it affects how the, and each bait is different, but it affects how the baits are treated when you reel them in. So with slow, it only goes up to halfway up the, the river, like the screen, like it is right this moment. Easy now, all right, here we go. 
He's mine. Looks kind of small. They're all small. All right, let's take a look at where we're up to. We've caught a few. Yep, all right, let's keep moving. Let's try some different bait. Slow. Easy. It looks like just about any bait, you'll get something. Man, I want a four size fish. Maybe they'll come later. Slow. I'm not buying that. BS. Slow. I'll do a fast after this just to show you what the difference in uh, reeling it in does. So it just affects how the different fish will, will like it differently. But all those subtle differences, different bait, the way you can reel it in. I, I got no idea. I don't have the manual. It's an emulation. I, I don't, and no one knows, like, no one's posted really anything on this game. If anyone has the manual in this game, shoot it across. Like, uh, post it up or say something. Um, it'd be really good just to look through it because learning this game, so I'll show you what fast does. The, the hard way is actually quite time consuming. So fast goes straight to the top. Now that catches different type of fish. I don't know. Some bait need different reeling back methods. You can read what they do when you're purchasing the bait at the tackle shop. Um, but uh, look, if it works, just keep doing it. And it stopped working. All right, let's go back to this bait. Let's see what happens. Gonna do some fast speed. Easy now. Looks kind of small. You lost him! <gasps> oh no! Oh no, I lost him! I, I... <sighs> you got him? See, see that? It's not easy, so I'm reeling him in now. He's really fighting. This could be a number four. He's not, it doesn't say the word easy, does it? I'm holding down the right mouse button, easy now. So now I've tired him out and I can reel him in. So he fought a little bit, this might be a four. But he wasn't, it was just a really tough number three. How's life been? So, if you're from the future and you're still alive, if humanity is still around... Oh, oh, okay, did you hear that? That means I've got to yank him. Still got to yank him. Come on. Okay, I'm not, now I'm not pressing anything, I'm just letting him go. Easy now. All right, now I can really mean. So now I'm... Oh my God, that is the... That is the toughest number one pounder I've ever caught. I've never seen a one pounder resist that much. Let's try slow. So right now we're in the middle of pandemic. And um, I'm doing all right. Family's doing all right. Easy now. Come on. This is what number one should be like. Mm, rolls reverse there. I'm taking care of um, my parents, which are elderly. So I'm making sure that uh, they're okay. 
hope everybody understands we all got to, as humanity, we all got to put in a little bit for somewhere and somehow. I mean, don't get me wrong, helping my own family does not count as, as being good. That's just standard. But um, if there's somewhere we can all help, that'd be great. On the news, there was that uh, pillow guy, my pillow guy, that converted his um, factory, retooled his factory to go from pillows to like uh, PPE, like uh, masks, dust masks or something. And the media, he just, he just praised God and the media went nuts. And this is like just during Lent for one, right? And the media just was bagging him out for being so ridiculous. Now, he was just doing something good. Why can't you just let him have it? Why can't the media just let him have? All right, you don't believe in whatever you don't believe in. He does. And he did something good. Just let him have it. He didn't have to bag him. This, this, is, this is the kind of stuff that's, that's turning people away from the media. They think they're doing something good by just bagging regular Americans. So this, no fish is going to catch this. Been, uh, been confined indoors just much, like much everybody else. I do still go to work because I work for a company that supplies cans to Coca-Cola. And um, a cruel twist of fate, Coke is an essential product. So I'm an essential service. Go figure. Go figure. I work for Coke. There's actually something funny about that because... I contributed to my boss getting sacked just last Thursday. Oh man, that was so entertaining. Don't get me wrong. I know what I wish nobody loses their job at this time of the year, but my manager, he was a raging volcano. And the big boss asked me to assist him in trying to put together a document. Easy now. Um, but come on, stop fighting me. You're just a one or a two. Oh, our first four! Our first, what time is it? 3.50, the big fish might be coming in. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Let's go slow. Um, he was a raging volcano. He would abuse people and humiliate them in front of everybody because, you know, he can do your job so much better than you. So he would take your tools off out of your hands. He'll take your project away from you and do it for you and humiliate you doing it. That was part of it. Making sure everybody... Everybody knows that you can't do your job. And uh, anyway, so he asked the big boss. So he picked up his wife from the airport a month ago. Oh, here we go, 4 p.m. So we don't go 9, it's actually 4. What did I come? I did not, I got 16. Look at these people, they got 22, 25, and 28. So anyway, he uh, picked up his wife from the airport and she came from overseas just as the pandemic was breaking out. So he was confined to live with her for um two weeks and in those two weeks so many people started complaining about him that the big boss asked me for help that's really what i wanted to show you guys um that's how the game goes and uh just wanna well okay let's just take a look at i don't like rain i don't like rain so we'll just go through some of the game here uh, let's go fish <laughs> 